Hi, everybody. My name is Adil. I'm a software developer at Autodesk, as uh, Jeff mentioned. What is Jeff? <laughs> yeah. uh, I can attest to the fact that it's a great place to work. There's something that you can be sure of it. There is lunch and everything. So, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, my talk today is about something that I built before I was hired by Autodesk. It's uh, pretty much. Uh, uh, before we start talking that, I'm going to mention something. This talk is two parts, the flask part and the electron part. The flask part, we're going to run it through it fast because I assume that everybody pretty much is really familiar with flask. So we, we're going to go through it uh, quickly. The, this is what, what, uh, what we built for this project. Don't worry if it's a little bit fuzzy, just because there was some kind of number that I want to <laughs> not be very, very visible. But the idea was that we needed a, a, a KPI for, the, for our marketing effort. We needed a way to be sure that each one of the marketing action was given some form of result. The problem was we are getting lots of information from a lot of sources and lots of different formats. We have uh, mailing, we have uh, direct market, we have uh, conventional marketing, digital marketing, and this data was getting, uh, was getting in in a so uh, so many formats that we needed a way to be able to, uh, to, to gather it together and to analyze, analyze it. I'm sorry. So we, uh, this is why we chose Python, and we used uh, this framework to be able to, uh, to uh, congregate this data and make it work together. And this project was aimed to a non-technical uh, user, so we needed a user, uh, a user interface that, uh, that was, uh, was under understandable by, uh, by uh, everybody. So, for uh, for the Flask part, we used a simple uh, Flask app with uh, with the large uh, app structure as recommended by Flask, and we did some tweaking on it. And once we have the core functionality up and running, we needed a way to package it. And this is when Electron come to uh, come to work. Electron is a is a Node.js framework by, built by GitHub when they were building the Atom ID, the Atom IDA. They, uh, they needed a way to, uh, to use web technology to create desktop application, so they come out with this idea. And once they figure out that it was good, it made it public and, uh, and available to, to, to everybody. Some of the apps that are built with Electron are, are uh, Skype, uh, Slack, all these things. More and more uh, apps that are more with interaction with the web, they're using uh, Electron to, to, to build it. The, to start with Electron, it's really simple. What you need is two files, a package, uh, the JSON file, we're going to declare the, the, the app details and the main process or a main.js file to, uh, to, to declare the app and run the, 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 and run the, 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 the main window. So once we had it, the, the, the electron scaffold, we needed to, to, uh, to compile the Flask app in a way. Is it better? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was like, we needed to, to compile the Flask app in a way to make it portable and Python has already a great uh, package for that. It's called PyInstaller. It's uh, really simple to run. You just have to install it and run the command in a way to, to precise that exactly this is my file I want to run and this is the extra data I want, uh, I want to add. The, the F flag here is going to allow the, the PyInstaller to compile everything into a single app. And the, the add data is going to add the, the rest of the, of the information. And uh, using the, the child processor, uh, child process in, uh, in Electron, you can call the, 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 the Flask executable and, uh, and run it. And we have a structure like you see in the, in the left with the, with, the, with the Flask app already compiled and the, the Electron data already. Uh, the Flask app is going to take some time to, uh, to, to run. So we created a loading page. And this is when Electron is, uh, is good because it allow you to uh, to have full control over the windows you show. If you want a, a, for, a, a splash windows form, it's gonna show you exactly uh, the the right windows without uh, without uh, any any additional information. The the electron at itself it doesn't. Um, uh, allow users to compile the, the app to an executable. You need another package called Electron Packager that is going to take all the code with the, with the assets the, and the, 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 the app itself and compile it to an executable. 
the to run the, the electron pager, you need some flags. So for example, to, you need to have to specify the icons so that the app is uh, is running the right way. You need also to um, to have some form of uh, to to ignore all the files that you don't need, this, uh, so that you, you reduce the size of the of the app. And there is some form of compression using the ASR method to allow you to protect your source code. For example, if you have uh, if you have lots of files that you want to protect and nobody you don't want people to have access to them, you just run it in that and uh, and it uh, it compiles it. The once the app is compiled. The good news is it's protected. Nobody can access your source code. The bad news is you can't add any data to it. So if you have some activation key or something, you will have a hard time to run it. And this is where the, uh, Python and, uh, and Electron have a good way to detect in which operating system you are and to push the, 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 the extra data exactly in the, in the right folder. And you can access it and, uh, and uh, deal with it. Uh, the Electron app usually come without uh, without a menu, so you need to declare a, a menu so that you can add extra functionality if, uh, to to the Flask app. Uh, interacting with the Flask app using the menu can be done either by uh, by uh, uh, AJAX calls or uh, by command line. Uh, this is <laughs> this is the talk. It's quick. Uh, there is lots of extra documentation in uh, in Electron in the in the documentation, and it's gonna allow you to have more information about the auto update and the the, the native functionality. Uh, any question? Yeah. Yes. Uh, I, I, yes, what, uh, what PyInstaller does exactly is it gets you a, like a reduced copy of the, 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 the Python runtime beside uh, all, the, the, all the, the, the packages that you, uh, your app is going to be needed to run, and it puts everything in a simple executable. The, this executable as it is, it's good for run the app. The only problem is not giving you any UI. This is why compile, uh, packaging it uh, using Electron was good so that we can uh, add uh, Node.js functionality to the app and uh, show, show a UI for, uh, for the app. Uh, we tried multiple times, but um, having, doing it that way will, go, will give lots of variables that we can't account for uh, for most of them, and that gives a problem with the time. Com uh, bundling the app using PyInstaller was the only way that ensured that it's going to run no matter where, in which environment you run it. Thank you. <laughs>